Hello! It's Saturday, and as such, time for another update. This is update 4. Yeah, we decided to change the name of the versions because it was quite confusing that it was 0.0.3. So now we just call it update 3, update 4, etc, etc, etc. That, that's the first change. This update in general doesn't have as many additions as last week's update, but there are quite significant game changes. With that said, let, let's start with a few additions we have. We added a function that allows you to shift over an item that comes from the vault and it will tell you where you can find it. So for example, this vault diamond can be found in completion crates, gilded chests, treasure chests, treasure sand and wooden chests. Whereas this raw carbon can be found in altar chests, gilded chests and wooden chests. And the idea is, of course, to allow you to focus your looting inside a vault when you're looking for something specific. Next up, we added three new shields. The chamomile. <laughs> I cannot be. A giant flower. I love it. It's very, very pretty. The skulk shield. Looking a bit ominous. I love the coloring. As well as the present box. And this is a very chunky present. Wait, I can actually hide. I can actually hide fully behind the shield. <laughs> very festive. And speaking about festive, we also added the Fairy Lights mod. This mod is absolutely amazing as it allows you to, to hang up different lights. I don't fully remember how to work with these different things, but yes, it is a very, very, very cool mod. And also very festive. Wow, those look... Those look absolutely great. Next up, we added a new vault room. However, this room is a little bit different. It can only appear in cave themes. And yep, that includes the raw cave theme. That's the base theme of Sky Vaults. And this is it. The Chromatic Iron Caves. This room is fairly common and it contains vault stone and, of course, chromatic iron. It doesn't have a lot of challenges, but there are a few ambush spawners around. And I gotta say, I absolutely love the look of this room. The build team did a fantastic job on this one. And now you can collect chromatic iron in masses inside a vault, as well as, as, well as vault stone. And speaking about vault stone, we made quite a significant change to vault ores. Vault ores found inside PUIs, such as this one, now spawn as vault stone ore. That is so so much better looking. They do, however, function just the same as, as the orb always did, but it just looks a lot better and no more vanilla ores jamming up your, your inventory. I just absolutely love the look of these, especially the black opal. It looks so very, very cool and rare, which it is. It is a very rare ore. Now, Let's look at changes, and there are quite a few of them. The first one is very weird. The 118 version of Vault Hunters was released on CurseForge with the name Vault Hunters 3rd Edition. But in the menu of the mod pack and in all my references, I always call it the 118 update, because that was the original name we had. You see, CurseForge doesn't allow you to have the, the Minecraft version in the name of the pack, so we fixed that. We, we changed the pack name to Vault Hunters 3rd Edition, which I gotta say so sounds even better. The next change is in regards of the Black Market. This was added last week and I love it. it it's a super fun game mechanic, but I wanted to make it even better. So in this update, we have added a bunch of new things that can appear in the Black Market, including Vault Gear. And while this looks like a scrappy sword, the rarity is actually rolled once you purchase it. And I, I happen to get a scrappy, but you can get all the way up to an Omega roll when you buy them. And also, it should be noted that the level of the gear follows the level of the player. Even if it says level 0 in the, in the interface here, it will land as your level when you purchase it. And speaking about soul shards, we also removed the requirement of having a shard pouch in your inventory when fighting mobs in order to get soul shards. Now you will just get soul shards immediately when killing mobs. Another change was that we added even more soul value value to several items. I'll let you find out which, but some items are now worth considerably more than they were in the last update. Another change was that bounties now scale properly with your level. That means that you will probably see a little bit less experience early game, but the tasks will be more suited to your level. <laughs> Although 48 rates is 
quite an undertaking. Another thing we did with bounties was to reduce the cooldown timer after completing a bounty. It used to be two hours, it is now one hour. So that you can bounty hunt even more. Oh, and last but not least, we also heavily reduced the reroll cost of bounties so that you can, you can reroll them more frequently, in theory, in theory. Next up, the ability Stonefall was buffed. It now costs less mana to use and it also has, has a visual indicator whenever it's active. It, it tints your screen grey. Now, how about some nerfs? Because yes, every now and again, we do need to, to scale things down as well. The biggest one is Splash Potions. They can no longer be used inside the vault. And I know this may be upsetting to a few of you, but it was a really important change because when you, when you start reaching mid-game and you have a backpack with a refill upgrade, people were just super spamming these like this and infinitely healing themselves for, for really no, no drawback, making it so that any boss fight was just easy win. However, you can still use normal potions and drink them to, to heal inside the vault. The next nerf we did was to shields. We lowered their base durability, their modified durability, and their health scaling. And honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It, it just makes the shields a little bit less OP. Now for all of those of you playing Sky Vaults, here's a big one. The raw crystals that you get no longer gives you experience after level 4. This this could be seen as a nerf, but I think it's more of a buff because there was an issue where people were over leveling, making normal vaults way too difficult, even though they just wanted to collect resources. So now after you hit level four, you can just infinitely mine resources in a, in a raw crystal. And the last nerf is in regards of the mod Kaecherium. We made them generate the output a little bit slower, just to make sure that it's balanced with all the other methods of mob farming. And that brings me to bug fixes. The kill entity bounty now respects tiered mobs, so if you get a bounty that says kill 50 drowned, th that will work also on the tier 2 and tier 3 and tier 4 drowns in the game. We fixed a bunch of broken armor models, including the mecha suit, which had the helmet appear on one's chest. We fixed a bug that allowed you to use the building gadget inside a vault. We also finally fixed one of the oldest bugs in the game. Breaking Vault Door no longer makes you completely deaf because the sound was changed from stereo to mono. That is so much better, so much better. Another very old bug that was finally fixed was breaking a chest out of your original reach distance didn't actually break the chest, but now it does. That is a massive, massive fix. And lastly, for all of those of you playing Sky Vaults, this is a pretty big one. We finally managed to fix the bug where Terralith Terrain would generate outside of your render distance when creating a new world. The world will now be completely void as it was intended to be. However, if you have generated a world before this patch, you will need to prune those chunks in order to get a full void world. And luckily, thanks to this amazing community, a handful of people have made guides on how to do that in our official discord, discord.gg slash vault hunters. And with that, I think I've covered it all for update four. Oh no, wait, we, we did, this was changed as well. The soul diffuser can now hold a lot more soul dust in its output. Yes, <laughs> very important change and great for automating the soul diffuser. Now, if you want to read the patch notes in full, they will be available on vaulthunters.gg slash patches. I'll put the correct link down below in the description. They will be out tomorrow, Sunday, the 18th of December, whenever the patch goes live on CurseForge. With that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed update four, and I'll see you in, well, hopefully my next episode, episode six of my single player, which is going to come out in, in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow, maybe on Monday. But yeah, that's going to do it for now. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Weird, weird outro. <laughs>